Hello, doers. Today we're focusing on a key concept in Odoo's inventory application, configuring inbound and outbound flows. Warehouse managers must balance speed, traceability, and cost when setting up inventory flows. Do you need a simple fast setup, or do you need additional checkpoints for accountability and compliance? We can configure receipts and deliveries in one, two, or three steps. And today, I'm going to help you determine the best fit for your business. So setting up receipts and deliveries determines how your entire warehouse receives and ships products. Keep in mind that the number of receipt and delivery steps are set at the warehouse level. So one warehouse can use one step delivery while another uses three. Inside of Odoo, inventory transfers drive warehouse operations. They determine how we move products through the warehouse and how the database processes shipments from vendors and deliveries to customers. Regardless of whether our warehouse has a ton of shelves or zones, or whether you have really complex and custom processes for your warehouse, what matters most is deciding how many steps your process should follow inside of Odoo. The level of complexity you choose should also enhance product traceability and clarify accountability inside of the warehouse. Imagine if a package gets lost between packing and output. If the packing team already validated their step inside of Odoo, meaning that they handed the package off to an output team, then we actually know who's responsible for it. Or if we're looking to see whether a package has been put together for delivery and see that it hasn't moved past the output location, it can be easier to locate. Now let's dive right into the different receipt and delivery flow, shall we? Okay, so the simplest and most common setup is one step receipt, which is Odoo's default setting. At Stealthywood, we use one-step receipts because our warehouse managers have a straightforward workflow, and we only need to track whether items are received and stored. More complex workflows, well, they're going to require or may require two-step receipts. Two-step receipts are useful when products are first received into an input area before moving into stock. This happens to actually be ideal when incoming items need to be sorted and they happen to be at the input location or separate teams handle unboxing shipments and putting things away in storage. All right, now a three-step receipt is a great solution when every incoming product needs a quality check. Received items go to a input, a quality control area, then stock. But wait, there's more. Does that mean that we have to use three-step receipts to do quality checks? Well, no. More steps mean more validations, which can slow things down. Instead, you can use quality control points together to trigger checks at any transfer step, whether it's one, two, or three steps. Look at that. Want to learn more? Check out our video on quality control points inside of Odoo. All right, now let's discuss deliveries. The same principles apply. One step delivery is when products are shipped directly from stock. One moment it's in stock and after validating it's outside the warehouse and it happens to be on its way to the customer. Okay. Inside of two-step delivery, a dedicated picking team, they move products to an output location where another team sorts, consolidates, and preps them for shipment. By now, you can probably guess what three-step delivery is. Well, we pick the products from storage, pack them into orders, and move them to the output area. Depending on business needs, this step might involve sorting, labeling, or organizing orders by delivery method. Like I explained earlier, you don't need three-step delivery to sort them into packages. Use third-party carriers or even to print shipping labels. Feel free to go through your settings in the inventory app to include all the features that you need. You don't need three-step delivery to sort those things. All right, now that we've gone through all of that, I think the moment of truth is finally upon us. Let's set up our inbound and outbound flows. So in order to set up our inbound and outbound flows, the first thing that we're going to do is click into the inventory application over here. Now, if you intend to use two or three step anything, you want to first go to configuration up at the top and settings. So here we want to scroll down until our section over here says warehouse. Perfect. And we want to make sure storage locations, the little box right there happens to be checked off and multi-step routes as well. And that both of them are enabled then remember to hit save. But next, let's select once again configuration, and this time we're gonna select warehouses. We're gonna select our main warehouse right there. Okay, from here, you notice how we have the shipment section over here? We can select the step that's most suitable for our business, and you can decide that there, because there you have it. We learned 
how the various inbound and outbound flows and inventory affect your warehouse operations. I hope you found the correct one for your business. Now, oh doers, as a small Jose Ignacio tip, don't overcomplicate things by adding too many operations, or you just might get overwhelmed. Remember the acronym KISS, or keep it simple, silly, for you non-acronym lovers. All right, until next time, see you later, oh doers. Go grab a snack.